Hello, Surviving Mars, episode 4, of what could be quite a short game, because there's few ways to make money on this map, it looks like. Um, we'll see. Um, I'm probably going to keep the series short, that is, I'll play on in between episodes, um, not show everything, because they don't get that many views. So... It's better to keep the series short because the earlier episodes get more views. However, they do get good um, watch time and audience retention. So, I don't know. YouTube is all a bit difficult, isn't it? Right. Here we are. And the question is, or was at the end of the last episode, shall we add some people? Starvation. Oh, great start. I... there is indeed no food. I have no choice. We're going to have to bring some food, right? I do have a little bit of money at least, so that's something. Here we go. Fire. Right. And since I'm spending money, what are you doing? You're automated, I think, yes, to bring in money. I think what are these guys hanging around for? Are they doing something? No, they're just hanging around. Launch. It'll bring at least a little bit of money in. Because I need to put humans in here. We need to increase the rate of money generation. We're producing hardly any really. And we probably need to speed up the research with a few more scientists. And we could do with some people. And what's the food happening? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna harvest a bit of turkey soon. There they go. So let's get humans on the way, shall we? At least that's cheap because I'm the the religious one, whichever it is. <laughs> So we need geologists to do the mining, and we need some scientists to do the science. And we could probably do with a doctor. Add that. Um, we had filters, you see, so we were keeping out, and we still are children and seniors, because they basically don't work. We want Martian borns, because that's good for the score in the game, but we don't need to be bringing kids. Middle-aged are a bit iffy, because they don't take that long before they become seniors. But there's 11 specialists, which we might need, I guess, if that's the right. We also, we need some non-specialists to run the turkey farm um, and the other buildings. Some scientists wouldn't hurt, and we definitely need, definitely need geologists. We don't need botanists because we're using the the turkey farms. We're not growing any plant food at the moment. Okay, let's apply that filter. See what we've got. Anybody off? Well, what have we got? Eight no specialists. That's too many. One medic, three scientists. That's another shift full. Okay. Only one geologist. That's not good enough. Glutton, uh, how many geologists are there here? Oh, one out of four, right. So we, so we need another three. Glutton, not keen on, we're short of food after all. Gamer, yeah. Loner, fine. Three geologists now, is that right? Three out of four, where's the fourth one then? Here. Ah, the glutton. Mm -mm. Well, of course, if I'm making money, this person will pay for themselves, right? Good. Okay, now we have too many non specialists. Maybe four or five would be enough, so I can get rid of some, the worst. Scientists, how many do we have? 
three. Yeah, another shift. Okay, so glutton, goodbye. Glutton, ooh, goodbye. <laughs> I thought I just got rid of that one. Um, anyway, need to get rid of two more religious and sexy, lone and rugged religious. Religious, rugged, workaholic. Uh, workaholics are great. Hypochondriac. Go. We still need to get rid of one. Is there a scientist who's awful? Not really. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll just have to get rid of someone arbitrarily. Three scientists is ideal because it's a full shift. I think there's four in the geologists, or however many we can add, it's good. Just going to have to get rid of somebody. Um, well, I guess the loner. Boom, right. Pow. Yes, we're going to launch. I'm going to build a house. So, never fear. Alpha Tucana is here. Kapow, right. And we should probably build something for the child too. Um, age group child, yes. We should probably build a nursery and stuff while we're at it. I was going to put them in the other dome, but maybe later, because... I don't need, don't want to switch the dome on yet. Of course, at some point, said child is going to grow up and become a need a school. And we don't have any anything in this space here. You see that? Could stick something in there. They need too much space. To, oh, no. Yeah, it needs too much space. It needs to be one of the... Uh, oh, here's the food. Kaboom, right. A small row. Well, yeah. The trouble with these stores is they consume stuff which we don't have. So we'll just have to put a mini park in there. Oops, misclicked. Stick a pond in there, right? Oh, can I not stick a pond in there? It's too big. I need a mini pond. Well, a small fountain, how about that? Perfect. Right. Let's check the research while we're waiting for stuff to arrive. What on Earth or Mars do I need? What have I got? Dome streamlining, so they cost less, presumably, to build. Moisture vaporators, yep. Need to improve them. Magnetic filtering, improve the oxygen generation, yep. Need to keep costs down, down, down. A bigger boost to production. Oh, I've got that already, yes? No? No. Spires, don't care about spires. Polymer blades, I don't want polymer blades. Drones and rovers move a bit faster. Well, that, yes, that would help. Anything crucial that I, can, that I need. Extractors upgrade. Increases production, but also increases power consumption. Go for it. I want the money. In fact, I would say... Take that out and control click to put it at the beginning. That's more important. Make, make money. And at least we are making some doing some research now. I saw it say three hundred and forty five per soul, which is great. Oh, and people have arrived. Can we empty this thing? Come on, guys. I 
We've got plenty of food now because the turkeys have been harvested as well. We're gobbling up the turkeys. That's the way to do it. Maybe I should build another one of these so that I can get the people... Well, we've got plenty of time to land them. 116 hours. Hurry up, guys. Pick up the stuff. Come on. What's happening? I can't land until this stuff is out of the way. Maybe the... Uh, the food is a bit far away. I know, it's just there. It's not very far. I was going to say, maybe they're taking it a long way. They're taking the metals quite away. But they're needed for maintenance for these things. Um, and the solar panels and stuff, so, well, there you go. This thing appears to be empty. Right. Can we uh, hurry up? How many metals do we have? 75. Plenty for now. But is he idling about? No, he's busy. Good. Trundling around. I've got 160 million. Hooray. Now the rocket will be on its way back. At least fuel is basically free because I'm getting it out of air and water. Uh-oh, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, yes. Building a new home on an alien world? That takes guts, to say the least. I thought it took concrete. After all, purpose is the strongest long-term driver. Since arriving on Mars, Clayton Jamal's enthusiasm has proven to be above average, even by founder norms. And the prodigious product productivity display can be boiled down to one simple explanation. Clayton Jamal really loves doing what Clayton Jamal's doing. So he has the enthusiast trait. Great. So what? <laughs> can we land? Yeah! Oof. Auto save, yeah, yeah. We're all on double speed, I'm afraid. Whoosh, get a quick common call like that, that's more like it. Okay. Recycle. So now we're going to have some more workers, I hope. Let's have a look at their jobs. I do want an extra turkey farmer. Oh, well, that's fantastic. This is going to really work. All of those make 17 instead of 15. Pfft. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll we're getting there. We're, we've almost doubled our output. And these guys, what are they doing then? School has one resident who has been to the park, <laughs> the, the playground, that's good. The medic, that's the medic, what's that, that's a geologist, what on earth are you doing there? Set workplace, thank you. All right. Let's stop anybody else working there. If you right click you can turn that slot off. And here we have another geologist. Come on. Left click to select. Right click to select workplace. Right. Honestly. We don't want geologists working in the diner. Neither do we want scientists working in the diner. Left click to select. Right click to select workplace. Right. Who are these other two? They're non-specialists. Perfect. Is there anybody unemployed?
No. Good. So this is now producing 4.2 instead of 1.7. And the science, hopefully, production is still only 4 in there. There's something mysterious here. I didn't check the grocer, that's alright. That's okay. That is a medic, yes. That's okay. No scientists there, that's okay. Oh, 27.7, that's more like it. Good. They must be feeding the turkeys more or something. Uh, we're short of a person for the grocer in one shift. Mm. Well, let's get the food up before we think about changing that. Turn it off, but right. <clears throat> Otherwise it nags you. Or rather it produces a little head over there, annoyingly. <clears throat> now, are we producing enough power? Total demand 72, production 96.8, store power is 440. Um, and a battery can output 20. We have one, two, three batteries, that's 60. So we actually need another two batteries to make this work overnight. Which is a bit of a shame because it'll mean we need polymers as well. But let's just do it. Where the heck are they? Here. Well, at the moment, these all work as well. So we get 60, and those produce 10 each, don't they? I think. Or is it 20? Let's see. It's producing 10, effectively. So we're getting 80. So one more battery would just about do the job as long as these are lasting. So let's stick one down somewhere. Wait a second, though. The Stirling generator closed. It will produce more power if open, but then it'll need polymers, like the batteries. Those plus the Stirling generator <coughs> are the same. Those two are outputting enough as one battery. That will produce as much as one battery as well at night. And it'll require a polymer, as will the battery, so I might as well just open it. Right. And I've done my calculation all wrong because the demand is 72, not 96. Okay. So in that case, it's adequate. And in fact, it's adequate. 60, 70, 80. It's adequate without risking polymers. So let's just turn that closed again. We're okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Now my other concern is this map. No more money. We need some money desperately. Can we scan some more places? Anyway, it's got to find some money around here somewhere. What I should probably do is build some towers which speed up the scanning rate. They need power, don't they, at the moment, I think. Sensor tower. Consumption two power. And one, well, I suppose a, a sensor tower with a solar panel would do the trick, right? But I have to get an electronic component and a metal. That's fine. I can pick them up with my transport, wherever it is, and take them somewhere. OK, 
Okay, it'll be on its way back shortly. I mean, a sensor tower up here wouldn't be bad. I'm scanning these areas anyway. Well, if I stuck one over here, and maybe down there, it would then scan these adjacent areas more rapidly. Stick it in there. It works to a depth of about two areas. Where are we? How are we doing? Okay. How do I get an electronic component there? Because it's got to be picked up somehow by that thing. Oh, well, I suppose I can pick one up with a a drone. I can pick it up with the, with the trolley, can't I? I can tell it to pick, pick up one or something. Well, I'll experiment. We need a couple of them, actually. Let's speed things up. There we go. This is on its way back, the rocket. Is there anywhere on the planet that that rocket could usefully investigate? Seven crew, I don't really have people to spare. I mean, I've got people, but not to spare. Oops, these are terraforming things, don't really want to do that yet. That's too expensive. So, nope, did all that. Later. Basically waiting for this guy. Here he comes. night time we can check the power ah not good but batteries can cope with that no problem I think I think it's not complaining about lack of power anywhere no so I think power production it doesn't talk about um, the batteries by the looks of it stop Right, now I want you to pick up some metals. That's enough. Stop. And load some resources. Electronics. Stop. Go here. Go here. Ugh. Has he picked up all of them? That could be a problem, but not to worry. And um, if it requires drones to build these things, doesn't it? How do I do that? Oh, I need a drone rover. I don't have one. I do not have one. I'm going to have to send one. RC Commander. 300 million. That will send, bring me some more drones, won't it? So let's get this guy down there anyway, while we're waiting. It was like here, wasn't it, somewhere? Enjoy the journey while we're get, while we're at it. Oh, if I click at all, it it loses it. <laughs> okay, come back, come back. Oh, there we go. Right. 
Oh, we're here already. Well, that was qu quick. Okay, now. Now I want him to unload the things. Stop, okay. And also now unload. Stop, okay, that's good. Now we just need to go up to the other part of the map. Say here. Okay, and I hope he's travelling. And you better land with the RC commander, right? Boom, right. So you come down here and build me a sensor tower, wherever it is. I do hope he's brought his drones with him. It was he started off fast, but it's all speeded up, isn't it? I'm on maximum speed at the moment, so I guess it's all right. Where are the drones? And get some then, honestly. Aren't they supposed to come with a load of drones? This is annoying. I thought they came with four each or something. Maybe it's because that probably is a different um, country or whatever. I think Japan has loads. Oh, extractor amplifier. Fantastic. That's done. That means this should be producing more. Doesn't seem to be, but maybe it'll... Maybe I'm just misinterpreting it. So now you're in the area. Oh, what, what maintenance does this need? One electronics. No doubt my trundler... Oh no, it's alright, because this guy can command them. Fix this thing. High priority. Thank you. Can you fix it? Are there some electronics up here? Where's the flipping... Yeah, no. No! Seriously. Let's go to this thing then. Unload. There. Some metals. And stop. And unload there. If only you could tell it to unload one electronics. Stop. Oh, perfect. Now come back to base, for goodness sake, before we all go crazy, wherever it is. There we go. Indeed, unload everything. Oh. <laughs> 
So you, let's assign some drones. Just two, that will be plenty, right? I thought he headed off rather quickly. So, it's struggling, this computer, what's going on? Where are we? Here. Yes, no, here. Hopefully he's got some drones with him now. I think I saw him loading them up. This autosave is a bit annoying, isn't it? Oh, and I lost my camera too and I didn't even click. Come here. There he's arrived, good. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out how to see this place. What are we doing? Oh, nothing, okay. Build, for goodness sake, build a sensor tower. There, and build. I hope I did, I, I did not think about the amount of material required to build a solar panel. But a small one produces two. That should be fine. Bingo. Perfect. Let's go up to the northern... wherever it was. Where was it? The northern meteor zone. Let's go to here, say. I can't remember where I dropped off the stuff. Let's hope he doesn't get struck by a meteor while he's there. Where's my metal hunting thing? Because there's going to be more stuff to pick up once this meteor shower is over. I need to slow that down. If that thing is going to get struck, I want to move it. Don't care about these things. Well, while that's messing about, I might as well send this hunting metal somewhere else. Oh, look, a, a dust devil, I don't know. Because there's too many meteors up here where stuff can be destroyed. Where's my explorer? Yeah, he's done his job. Let's get him out of that area. No electricity at night? Well, that's okay. I don't care. It'll still speed it up. A bit, but not at night. Uh-oh! A mystery. These things can be fatal or beneficial. A mystery rocket has entered orbit and is signalling readiness to make touchdown. Communications with the rocket are purely on the machine level as attempts to establish contact with any potential crew have so far gone unanswered. As no one is making claim of ownership over the rocket, there are no visible insignia to identify its origin, we are in a position to do as we wish. Just a word of caution, in these competitive times, trickery and acts of sabotage are not above anyone, even here on Mars. There may be helpless crew members on board. Land the rocket immediately. Observe the rocket for a sol or two and land it afterwards. Remember Hom Homer's Iliad? We are not falling for this old trick. Ignore it. In other words, is it a Trojan horse? 
Just landed. What the heck? We're all going to die or something. The mystery rocket has landed, and it was filled with precious resources. Perfect. Since nobody's contacted us, and the rocket has no insignia, and all we will take advantage of this fortunate occurrence. Cheers to you, universe. Yeah. So what has it got? Exactly. Polymers, 171. That's, that's just perfect, yeah. Name Bethesda number five. We can't have that. We're going to rename it to something. Mystery McMystery Face. There we go. If you can think of a better name, let me know. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about polymers now. In fact, I need to put down a st some polymer storage, don't I? Where shall I stick it? Um, stick it here. So the explorer has come here. Let's go out into space. These these, these tooltips so get in the way, don't they? Um, there's nothing there for him to look at. Oh, there, yeah, there's nothing there for him to look at. It's yellow things, and these we know what they are. So, but the meteor rubbish just stops. We can send our uh, metal collector up here. Again, let's get him into the general area. What's this? Metals, metals, that's about it. Well, all right. All right, at least something is happening. So this is available perhaps for looking at the new planetary anomalies, although this one is probably charged up. Already, it's got quite a lot of money on it now. We're making money. We are making money. Sadly, the supply is running out. <laughs> Slowly, but anyway. Let's have a look at planetary anomalies. What have we got? He's an RC commander. That's good. I need I need to do something with that first, don't I? Medic resources. Okay, could be useful. Five engineers don't have them. Oops, left button. Five engineers don't have them for that. Was that it? That one's the old one. Seven officers don't have them. Right, so there's a couple of sensible ones here, fine. Now let's send our RC commander off. Now I sent him off already, didn't I? He's over here somewhere. There. Where are the supplies that I dropped off earlier? I did drop them off earlier, didn't I? Yeah. There they are. <laughs> Sensor towers don't work at night. Well, say la vie.
Excellent. So in the morning, well in fact now, you might as well come back to base um, and hang around. Nothing for the explorer to explore. No, those meteors may have dropped off some other stuff though. Sometimes there are other than anomalies, they sometimes drop some minerals. Oh, more metals. There's a load of metals up this bit. Okay. Anyway, how are we getting on? One colonist at Earth sick. There's always one. In fact, there's usually lots because <laughs> it's not so great here, you know. There's no entertainment for them. So the question is... I don't want you loading up with money, so no. I'm going to use you for anomaly exploration. And since my commander has done its job, why don't I send this rocket out straight away? right button. I keep using the left button. Engineer's no good. Medic for resources. Yeah, that's quite good. RC commander for a breakthrough. Okay. The best way to do this is to use this button rather than that button. Sometimes it requires fewer resources unless that's a bug. Go. And while that's in progress, what are we going to do next? I'm speeded up. I've speeded up the exploration because. That's crucial. If we look here, you can see it says sensor towers boost 368%. That is so important when we're short of cash. Oh, there's something for our explorer to look at. Send him out. Go. Found some water. Okay. How much? Quite a bit. So this would be a good area for a dome because we've got a water supply. We don't have to use the vaporators necessarily. And we've got some money. And indeed there's a possible boost to research for... But you can't fit all that air space in, in one dome. I think it's far too big an area. But still. Stick a dome up here, I suppose, and mine that. If we, we might need to build a ramp to get in there. I don't know if... Maybe that's good enough. We can build long pipes for the water. It's not the end of the world, I suppose. This is probably not flat enough for a, a dome, but we could dig it out if we get a, a bulldozer. How are we doing down here? Why do we need a drone? Too far from working drone commander? What are you talking about? Is it because it's night time or something? Does the other one say the same? Yeah, so maybe it just thinks it isn't working. Which it isn't because it's night time. What are you waiting for? Oh, we're unloading the polymers. Yeah, good. Forgot about that. So what next? What is the next thing to do? 
I mean, I don't want to use this other dome just for the sake of it. But I suppose we will overpopulate this one before long. Uh, unless everybody gets earth sick and flies away. 25 colonists, that's right, because there's been one birth and nobody has left. Two twelves, right. There's room for another 11. Hmm. What to do? What shall I do next? Tell me in the comments. And if you don't tell me, I'll just think of something. But give me your ideas. There's water here as well, isn't there? But it's not near that other money. And we have to get this other money going at some point, unless I find some in a more amenable location. We're scanning way more quickly now. So all of these will be scanned fairly quickly. I can set them up. Similarly, these will be scanned very quickly. That's the next one. So, with any luck, there's, there's money there. Let's have a look at the research. Drones and rovers move faster. Well, okay, a bit faster, that will help. Explorer, AI. Well, if I'm making money, I can buy them. Um, I'm starting to make money, I'm starting to feel confident that we can get somewhere now. At least for the time being. Drone hub. Well, if we need to build another dome, I mean, I can buy one from Earth, but it would not hurt to be able to make one. Okay, but there is other stuff. Selling generators. We'll need deep scanning facility at some point, maybe. But you have to keep buying these things. Terraforming, I'm ignoring it. Social things, uh, well, yeah. The bio, isn't it? Martian born colonists graduate faster. We don't have many. New building farm, um, they can eat turkeys. Yep. Geologists have plus 10. Performance, ooh. Let's get through this lot, then we can think about that. So, that's it, I'm not sure what to do next. Give me some ideas. What can I use this dome for, if anything? Should I just demolish it and, and be done with it, and stick another dome up in the other place? What do you think? Bye for now.